What up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220-1002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you are going to learn about the best practice procedures for malware removal. So here is the seven step procedure to remove malware that you need to know to successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221,002 examination. So the first step is to identify and research malware symptoms. And so for this, you want to refer to my previous video, or if you're reading this or listening to this on the blog, refer to the previous section titled 3.2 PC security, and that will explain a lot of the symptoms and some of the things that you can do to identify and deal with those symptoms. Next, you want to go ahead and quarantine infected systems. So you want to disconnect the system or systems from the network and assume that all media that has contacted the system has possibly been infected. Do you want to go ahead and disable the system restore in Windows? So disable the system restore so it does not run and create a restore point with infected files before the system is clean. Step four, you want to remediate the infected file. So you want to use a different computer to change passwords for network access, e-commerce, and social media. You want to perform data backups in the event that the system has to be reformatted. Next, you want to check the backup for malware before reinstalling it by following these steps. You want to go ahead and update anti-malware software. So to update the anti-malware on a quarantine system. You want to download offline update files on a different system, copy them to a USB flash drive, and then install the updates on the quarantine system. And then you want to do some scanning and removing. So you want to run scans and remove the threats in safe mode or the Windows recovery environment. Step five, you want to schedule scans and run updates. So you want to perform scans while updating anti-malware and antivirus software, you want to use specific removal tools if the infection is known by source and proceed to follow up with full scans. Do you want to scan with more than one tool to ensure that the infection is removed? Step six, when the system is clean, you want to enable system restore without copying infected files. So manually create a restore point in Windows. And then step seven, you want to educate the user. So you want to discuss principles of avoiding malware infections with end users and just overall general guidance for safe computing. All right, so that's that. We have talked about the best practice procedures for malware removal that you are going to need to know to pass this examination. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, do me a favor, hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go ahead on over to my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221,002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.